Hey guys, so we are trying some new Tom Ford stuff, some new Charlotte Tilbury stuff, and a new product from Dior, which <laughs> doesn't even feel that new anymore, but this is that face and body powder that I hauled actually a while ago. I was waiting to get other Dior products in and kind of do like a full face of Dior or like a trying new Dior makeup video. I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. I'm just gonna try this out. Um, the new Tom Ford I'm talking about is their new Soleil products. It's starting to slowly roll out or I don't know if they're gonna be doing much more than this. I do know they have a new fragrance. I can't remember the name. Um, but they did come out with a new eye duo, like their cream and powder, and then a new uh, lip gloss. So we'll be playing with those. And then, and this is kind of what prompted me to do this video, because I thought, oh, you know what? This is kind of enough to make an interesting video. Uh, but Charlotte Tilbury just sent over their new brow products. So let me just hold up this box to show you a whole box of goodies here. So we have brand new brow fix, which is a clear brow gel. And then she sent over the legendary brows, which I don't believe is new. I think this is like the tinted um, brow, like pomade or gel. And then let's see, we have a brow lift brow pencil, which is refillable. So I have an old version of this. Um, so maybe this is just sort of newly designed to make it refillable. And then this I believe is new. This is the Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil, also refillable. So we are gonna be playing around with all of those as well, uh, but I wanna start with the Dior powder. So I do have foundation and concealer down and what I have on my face will be down below in the description box. Uh, but today we are gonna be playing with this face and body powder, no powder. I did get it in the shade 2 N and it did look uh, peachy. <laughs> it looked like it was uh, tinted. So here is the powder and it is a baked gelée kind of powder. So I'm really excited for that. Um, another baked gelée powder for your reference is that Chantecaille Perfect Blurring Powder, which we all know and love. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I am hoping this is going to be as magical as that Chantecaille powder is. So I'm gonna go in actually with uh, my Sonia G Smooth Buffer Brush with this because it is a, a Bake Gelé product. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pick up the actual product. So I'm gonna go in and just swirl around. And this picked up plenty of product pretty quickly actually. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna pounce onto my skin and immediately I see a little bit of mattifying action. There's a creaminess quality to it, which is what I love about baked uh, gelée like powder. They always look uh, like creamy without any sort of like overt shine to them. So I'm just gonna apply it to this half of my face so we can compare. Pretty, I do see the blurring action going on here and I'm trying to figure out if yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a tint to it. You can see my skin looks much whiter <laughs> here than it does here. Here it has more of a peachy tone to it. So being that I'm so pale, this happened to me when I tried that new Armani Luminous Silk Powder. I got shade four, which is the shade that I use in the foundation and it works fine. But that powder was like a bronzing powder almost. So I think I need, I'm, well, I need to get a lighter shade in that powder, but I think I'm gonna get a lighter shade in this powder too, because so far I'm really liking the way this powder looks and this may work if I get a little bit of a tan. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I really like the way this looks. Can you guys see the blurring that I'm getting right here? Oof, so much better than this side. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and I'm gonna buff and I wanna see if I see any difference buffing instead of just pressing it into the skin. I think the buffing actually helps with the blurring. It looks even more blurred on my cheek there. Ooh, which is really nice. I am really liking this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get a lighter shade. Ooh, the Sephora VIB sale is coming up, so I'll wait to get it then. <gasps> Exciting. Yeah, and I feel like the buff side is a little bit more satiny too. I really like that, so I'm gonna buff this side as well. Yeah, that powder is nice. So let me go ahead and just add a few things to my face and we'll come back and play around with the Tom Ford um, eye duo. Okay, I totally lied. We're gonna play with the brow stuff first from Charlotte Tilbury. So I just took everything out of the box and 
the brow lift is um, similar to their current brow lift. So the pencil is basically the same. So it's one of those pencils that's like long and kind of angular um, instead of like a really fine point. And then it does have a spoolie. The previous kind had like you could untwist the center and it had this like highlighter basically like at the end of like a sponge tip applicator. I don't mind that they got rid of that because I never used it <laughs> on that uh, brow product. So, um, so it doesn't have that anymore, so that is different. And then here is the Brow Cheat, which is their Micro Precision Brow Pencil. So this is the one that's brand new. And this one has not just like a straight up point tip, this has like a little bit of like a teardrop shape. So that's really neat. The Legendary Brows, like I said, I think I think this is already in existence. It has one of those teeny tiny brushes. Yeah, teeny tiny brush. And I have to admit that's not my favorite. I'm definitely gonna use it because I wanna see if maybe my mind has changed, but I remember purchasing it and tried it a couple of times but because my brow hairs are so long, I need, I need a bit more to my spoolie, but we're gonna give it a shot. And then this brow fix, which is clear brow gel is new and we'll use it as well. So since the Brow Lift is probably the same product, just new packaging, I'm going to set that aside and we're gonna focus with the Brow Cheat, which is that micro precision one, which I think is brand new. So I am going to, oh, uh, the color, sorry, before I move on, this is in natural brown. So I'm gonna go in and just start filling in This pencil is definitely on the softer side. I feel like it's not taking much effort for me to um, actually get some pigment down, uh, which scares me a little bit only because I'm such, such an amateur when it comes to brows, but I suspect running a spoolie through it all is going to, you know, just soften everything up. And then the other side has a spoolie. I'm gonna run it through here. Ooh, the spoolie is nice and firm. Yeah, and it really, kind of uh, works out and blends out the uh, strokes that I just made with the pencil. Let me do a little swatch for you actually. I think this color works for me. So there is natural brown, but I think there's a little bit of warmth in there. So if you're someone that does not like any kind of warmth to their brows, you know, you kind of prefer like a gray brown, you may want to try a different shade of this. So again, this is natural Brown. All right, so that is, I think actually you can maybe see a little bit of the warmth there, but this brow is filled, unfilled. Looks good, looks good. Okay, let me do this side. The tail on this eyebrow of mine is so much thinner than this brow. I really have to beef this one up and it's still not quite as hairy <laughs> looking as this one. Oh well. Let's move on to the legendary brow. So this is the like tinted brow gel. I want to use the new brow fix. And I don't know if that's just too much goop in my brows. Okay, so I'll use the legendary brows, which is tinted again. And this is again in the shade supermodel brow. And I'll use the tinted one on this side and then we'll use the clear on this side and we can kind of compare. And I know some people love these like teeny tiny like micro spoolies. Um, but again, I think because I just have such long <laughs> eyebrow hairs, I just need more, I need more spoolie. Okay, I'm just taking a clean spoolie and kind of running it through because I got a little crazy right here. All right, so filled in tinted brow gel. Wow, that's, I feel like that's such a heavy brow for me, but there you have it. Um, and then this side, let's use the new Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel. So this one, oh, this one has like a big spoolie. <laughs> I would love something in between. So let's go ahead and run this through. I'm mostly curious to see how this dries down. As you guys have heard me say, I don't really like a crunchy brow gel. I really like when they stay kind of uh, flexible when my brow hairs stay kind of flexible, but I do like I do like hold because my brows are pretty feral. All right, yeah. Well, I definitely see a difference. No surprise. This side definitely seems a little bit more of a dramatic brow. So I think if you like a bolder brow look, or if you feel like your brows need a little bit of help, the pencil and the legendary brows is the way to go. 
I think for me, I would definitely choose one or the other. I would either use a legendary brows or I would use a pencil and a clear brow gel, but I'm just waiting to see how this dries down. Oh, nice. It's not crunchy, but I definitely feel hold. Excellent. Oh, this is great. Great, great, great. Yeah, they're still like mobile. All right, so those are the new Charlotte Tilbury uh, brow products and they did send me refills. So again, the brow lift and the brow cheat, these are now refillable, which is so awesome. But let's go ahead and move on to the Tom Ford stuff. So Tom Ford Soleil Summer 2021 has started to appear in stores. I saw this on Selfridges. I don't know if this is it. Again, I've only seen this eye duo, this lip gloss, and that fragrance. I'm hoping there's more. I really like the Soleil collections. Um, I love their bronzer, so I hope they don't touch that. But I like when they come out with like face palettes and stuff. I just think it's a lot of fun. Anyway, so this eye duo is very dramatique. So the cream color is called Black Sand, and it looks suspiciously similar to Caviar, which I'm gonna pull out and compare in just a second. And then the top shade is like a gold topper. All right, so let me do a quick swatch of this black sand. Oh, pretty. And it has like gold sheen in there, which I don't think caviar has. So that's the new black sand. And then I'm going to take some of this powder eyeshadow. Oh, this is different. This is different. This has a lot more pigment than previous versions of this topper. But let me swatch this by itself. Oh yeah, that's more than just a topper. That's like a wet gold shadow. Oof. And now I'm going to take some and actually tap it on top of that cream color. Ooh. Oh, wow. Almost like transforms it. Really pretty. Okay. You know, putting the gold on top of the black, it almost brings out the green in the gold. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. And I took out my Tom Ford um, cream color for eyes in caviar. And I don't think this one is quite... Yeah, they look a little bit different. So the new... Soleil one definitely has some very prominent gold in there and the caviar does not. Yeah, it actually has more of like a silvery sheen to it. Okay, so, I mean, obviously very, very similar. They're both black-based cream eyeshadows by Tom Ford. So they're gonna have like a very similar feel and look to them, but they are, you know, if you're a Tom Ford fan, they are a little bit different a little bit different. One is more silvery, the caviar, and then this black sand one is definitely much more gold. So I think I mentioned this when I was playing around with Samantha Ravindahl's Auric collection. She had those smoke reflect eye duos, and her cream shadow in there is amazing because it's not quite as soft as the Tom Ford cream shadows, and I found those to be easier to work with. Um, these, because they're so soft and creamy, I feel like you run the risk of kind of making a mess a little bit more easily, but uh, we'll see what happens today. I actually have not used one of these in a while. Um, so I've got my Sonia G Worker 2 brush, which is undyed goat hair, and I really like using this with cream shadows. Uh, and I'm just going to dip in ever so gently. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start at the center of the lid and just kind of blend out. I kind of prepared myself for a dramatic eye look today and didn't put a lot of like blush and highlight down. I actually only used bronzer on my cheeks here. Okay, first layer is pretty sheer, but you saw how little I picked up. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more and just kind of deepen along the lash line. And then I find once these cream shadows kind of set down a little bit, they make it much easier to blend out. So that's what I'm doing to the edges here, just to soften it up a little bit. I'm not going to be too fussy with it because I am going to be putting that gold powder shadow on top. But let me go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. All right, I think, I think that's as close as it's going to get. Kind of like my eyebrows. Let's move over to this gold uh, powder shadow here. I'm just going to take my uh, ring finger and just dab it. I was gonna say just dab it over the center. I think I'm gonna dab it all over. I really like this gold shadow. Definitely the inner portion here of my lid. And maybe leave 
the outer corner just black, kind of keep that dimension there. This gold shadow is really, really cool. It looks very, very wet, which is such a Tom Ford thing for the um, Soleil collections. Just always this sort of like <laughs> sweaty, sexy beachside kind of effect. There is the Eye Duo down. I really like it. I think it's a really easy, dramatic eye look. I mean, it's dramatic for me. It may not be that dramatic for you. It's pretty dramatic for me, uh, but I definitely need some eyeliner and I definitely need some mascara. So um, I'm gonna put that on and then we can move on to the Tom Ford lip gloss. Eyes are done. It's nice to see Tom Ford doing some like slutty makeup again. I think he's so, so, so good at like that really confident, woman kind of makeup and a lot of the things that I feel like they've been coming out with recently are very kind of natural and pretty and on the lighter side or complexion products or whatever so this is I don't know I feel like this is very very true to Tom Ford's woman so I am loving this and I love how wet I keep saying this but I love how wet <laughs> this uh, gold eyeshadow looks it's really cool all right let's move on to this sun lust lip so this is the tom ford soleil lip offering so here is the packaging this is like the older tom ford lip glosses this is not like the gloss lux lip glosses which is just such a heavier more luxurious really kind of fancy uh kind of packaging this is like a return back to the lip glosses that came out before those gloss luxes. So it's a lot lighter, smaller, a little bit more portable. And then we've got like a paddle kind of doe foot applicator. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow. Oh my God, look. Look, it changes color. I had no idea. <laughs> it changes color. And so now it's almost like this peachy nude gold lip stop it stop it you stop it right now this is so pretty <gasps> this is so pretty this is so pretty oh my god i love this i thought this was just going to be like oh you know like kind of like a sheer probably a slutty gold lip gloss from tom ford <gasps> it's actually color changing and it's to this really pretty peach usually color changing things on me always turn to kind of like a mauve kind of color not complaining but it's always like it always changes to that this is completely different oh my god it's so cool i love this this is incredible and i love the eyes oh my god winner this is tom ford wow oh my gosh i'm loving it this powder is really nice my brows i think look really nice and that was a great kind of pairing because if i had my skinny wispy little brows with this eyeshadow look it probably would have looked a little bit bizarre oh my gosh i hope you guys liked this video i am loving <laughs> i'm loving this tom ford stuff and i have to say i have to say i've been really enjoying uh some of the tom ford offerings lately but nothing has really like ooh, like i said like nothing's really been like very tom ford you know like sexy but simple i think we're back we are back oh i'm so happy i really love these two products um, the dior powder is great i think i am gonna get a lighter color anyway let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video